Hi guys, today I'm going to be filming my room tour. Now I have moved house since last time I filmed a room tour. I was going to say since last video, but no. I've been in this house for about six months now. My family, we just moved because we, we could and um, yeah, this is my new bedroom. I'm very excited about it and there's something very refreshing about moving and just getting a new space and getting new furniture and just organizing my stuff because I've always lived in a room that's quite small and I had a lot of clutter in it and it was like that for most of my life so now I've got like my own room the way I want it and pretty much it's perfect for me for me this is a big room I know a lot of people are gonna be like yo your room's not that big get off your high horse but it, it it's a big room for me and I'm very grateful for the space that I have and um, yeah, let's just get straight into it. So first of all, behind me, I just took the camera around from where I was sitting before. I have my desk space, and here is like where I'd have my journals, or like my work, or my computer usually, because the wire for the cable usually runs down there. But I've actually like tidied it up so that I can put away the computer, and put away all the cables so it just looks tidy. This is where I do most of my work, my uni work, my emails, my, my work, gymnastics work, my everything, editing videos, computer stuff is here. And this is it. It's the Mickey desk from Ikea. Most of my furniture is from Ikea, so I'll say what it is in case if you're interested, but it's the Mickey desk and it's perfect. I love it. It's my favorite thing ever. As for what's actually on the desk, over here I have my hair stuff, like hair ties, bobby pins, headbands, ribbons, scrunchies, all that stuff. Here I have my smaller nail polish in like a little plastic box thing. I have some sewing needles because, and like pinning needles because they always get lost and just having them on my desk is handy because I may be working on something and I'll be like, oh heck, I need a needle. And instead of like putting them into a drawer, they're just there. And I'm a bit old fashioned. I have a car from 2004, so I actually have a CD player in my car. So I find it quite useful to have my CDs out and ready to go. I also like to actually listen to music while I'm cleaning my room. And I like to put on CDs like an old fashioned granny. Here is my beautiful candle from Ikea. I always have candle burning because I don't have curtains anymore. I was so scared for so long about having curtains, but now I have blinds because like, I don't want my room to catch on fire, which is sensible enough if you ask me. Up here I've just got a bunch of trophies, I won't really go into them because I have my full name on them. And here I have a candle, I have a Starbucks cup with my face drawn on it, which was by my wonderful friend Mark, which is amazing. I have this little Jessica Jones action figure. Over here I have my gymnastics trophies and then behind it is one of the plates that got thrown into the audience from the Tatton Off show. And I actually ended up catching like five plates during the live show but I gave them away to 13 year old girls, they seem to be appreciative. And just there is a picture of my grandmother and my mum in like the 60s which is cute. And here is like my actual pictures. And I always have water on my desk, like I always do, so I like to make that a habit. I have this cute bottle from Typo, it's good, it reminds me. And here I have a desk protector because I paint my nails a lot, like pretty much every second night. And my old desk had so much wear and tear that I got a desk protector because I didn't want to wreck this new one. As for what's on my actual desk, I have gel pens. Pencils, colouring in pencils, and then like writing pens, and a fan, and a sonic screwdriver, and a ruler, and all this random stuff. And on here I've got an array of things. I've got uh, Polaroids with friends, I've got, um, this was a notebook, and then I finished the notebook, so I wanted to keep the poster, also because I work on her costume a lot, so it's also a good reference photo. I have a joke card with a kiss on it from one of my cosplays, and I have a little Alice in Wonderland magnet, a painting print of a stew art Doctor Who thing, me when I was like five or seven, and I have a few like ads that I've been in, like um, modeling stuff, just there to be like, yo, you did this. A photographer gave me a print of myself at like a convention, so I just have a photo of there next to that, so that's a bit weird. Um, I may take that down because it's sort of, I don't like looking at myself, 
despite being a model, I just don't like having photos of myself up. Um, here is a crack in my desk, and this is actually a whiteboard, so come uni, when it starts back up again, I can uh, like write stuff on this, which is very good. Okay, over here I have my little corner. I have two pencil cases. Here I have more photos, a stack of Polaroids, medication, and my Cameron Monaghan calendar, which was custom made by my partner, and it's great. I also have a police box that was handmade out of a chocolate box, which I keep all my wires in, which is super nifty. Here I have like some stuff that's, um, I don't know, candles, matches, some stuff from Scotland, some stuff um, I got gifted at a convention, which is cute and some glitter which I'm going to be sending to my friend in a birthday card. Moving on to my nest as I call it, uh, this is it. I, I sleep in a single bed and that's what I sleep in. Uh, here's a fan that sits on the floor during summertime because it's too hot in Australia. And here's my bedside table, it's very clutter free and that's why I like it. So I usually have my, I don't usually sleep with my phone next to me, I sleep with my phone and my desk on charge. So. Yeah, uh, life hack right there. I have a picture of my partner Kane and I in front of the TARDIS, my Porg which talks to me, and also a random bowl. Um, I don't know. I've got Hubba Bubba in here because I go through, like, you know how some 21 year olds go through packets of cigarettes a week? I go through packets of Hubba Bubba a week, that's how I roll. And I have some small change and jewelry that, that I wear a lot in there. And here I've got my TARDIS DVD cabinet, so some of the DVDs that are like mine and they're not the family's go in there. I have my Pepe cap, um, a couple of caps, a bucket hat and a bowler hat, which I tend to, like, the hats that I wear regularly. And I have my Harley Quinn baseball bat right next to my bed because I don't know, just because I want a baseball bat in my room, it makes me feel safe. That's that corner of my room. Then I have... My project pile. <laughs> this is probably the most shameful part of my desk, but it's just the pile of stuff that I'm working on at the moment. So my costumes, Kane's fabric for his costumes, anything that needs mending basically because I like to sew and on top of it, uh, it's all on top of my Doc Martin box, which my Doc Martin 1914 triumphs that Amy Pond has are in. Once again, it's from Ikea, it's great. <laughs> Underneath my desk I just have like my teacher stuff, so like stickers that say great work and like all my stamps and my whiteboard markers and teacher stuff and a laptop bag because I need to take it everywhere. In the top drawer I apparently keep my laptop, my weekly planners, my daily planner, my bullet journal and a bunch of paper. Oh, that paper is my tattoo references for when I do Joker or Harley tattoos because I don't want to lose them so I keep them in my top drawer. And then here is a sticker drawer and letter drawer and glasses and here is my huge array of notebooks and um, I have some other notebooks and stuff down there. This is the crap drawer. We all have a crap drawer, don't deny it. And then I have some Doctor Who annuals, which are cool because they're also notebooks. So they have like bits of the Doctor Who annual and then blank paper, so that's cool. Here I have a card holder, which I put like cards that I receive at conventions or people's business cards so that I can store them until I look up their details, download the photo and then yeah, organize all those cards that you receive. Here is a folder drawer and I also have a Nintendo DS. And down here is my microphone and candle collection. These are my Alex drawers, if you're wondering, and I can't recommend them more, they're amazing. And on top of it I just have like hair stuff and some Lush stuff that I use on a regular basis. Over here I have my really noisy alarm clock and I actually keep my alarm clock across the room from my bed and I also don't use an electronic alarm clock anymore because you end up spending too much time on your phone when you wake up in the morning if you have like a phone alarm clock. I don't know if that's the case for everyone but if I have like my phone alarm I can either snooze it or I go on my phone for like half an hour so having this thing is good because then my phone stays away until I'm ready and until I've gotten stuff done so that's like a life hack. Here I've got makeup, I'm not really gonna go into it. The bottom two drawers are like cosplay prosthetics and makeup and 
special effects and tattoos, so yeah, then the rest of it's normal. And over here I've got some baskets on top of it, which look quite messy, I must admit, but that's what I put some like uh, makeup bags in. A lot of hair stuff, belts, and I've got Olaf sitting up there, so that's cool. Here I've got my little sign that I got from my best friend Victoria in Scotland, which is super sweet. And in here I've got books. We've got like an actual bookshelf in our house, so I sort of migrate the ones that are I, either I've bought myself or that I'm reading. And I'll put the one that I'm reading currently here. And Kane also has his reading glasses because he always forgets them. Up here I've got um, like jewellery and like jewellery that comes in boxes sits in front of it which is a bit inconvenient but oh well. And in there I think it's just like random stuff. <laughs> and here I have like bigger books and comics and then I have my little alcohol section which looks great to be honest. <laughs> And in here I've got uh, sentimental things like birthday cards, photos, and a lot of stuff from the UK because I got a lot of like nice cards and letters. And in here I've got earrings that are like real earrings. So, um, yeah. I don't really know what sort of drawer thing this is, but it's good. I'm so sure it's from Ikea, I just don't know what it's called, so I'm so sorry. In this top drawer I've got my nail polish. I literally have hundreds of nail polishes. It's a bit bad, but I use them all, so yeah. In this second drawer, which I can't open, I've got sweaters, long sleeve shirts, and like leggings. And down here is the, the crap drawer, again, part two. I've got like the, what are they called? Cloth bags that you get, and a bunch of stuff that does not really have a home, to be honest. And then over in this corner, I've got a like a <laughs> huge printed out version of Cockatiel because burb memes are life and I haven't been bothered to hang it up and I probably should hang it up right there because it would fit, but for now it just sits on the floor. Here I have Kane's like Batman backpack, which he's decided to leave in my room and like a satchel that I take around if I'm like staying over at his for the night. I've got my Daenerys slash Harley Quinn cage wig, just chilling. Um, and oh, I've got Pascal's Daenerys wings that I'm doing at the moment. And a sewing machine. I invested in a sewing machine and soon I'll be learning how to sew things with a sewing machine instead of by hand. Okay, and then that is that corner. Here is my mirror with my wardrobe. And then I've got like dressing gowns and jackets and raincoats on my door. And over here I've got shoes underneath my bed, like there's no room for monsters to hide underneath the bed, it's just shoes and yeah, I've got a set of scales there because I keep the scales of the house in my bedroom. Um, they're pretty good, they were like $12 from the reject shop and they're like so spot on which is helpful. And here I've got my Pokemon handbag which I take everywhere and my camera bag because I store my camera in there. I'll quickly just go through the organization of my wardrobe if there is any organization at the moment. <laughs> I don't, I can't remember. Ooh. Okay, up here I've got uh, pictures which I've taken down from my bedroom at my old house. So a lot of them are like photos with celebrities from Supernova and all that. I've got both of my Harley wigs. This one's on like a, a wig head and it just sits there because I'm very proud of this wig. It took a lot of styling and I'm very happy with it. Here I've got my Dalek, which is remote control. And to be honest, the, the top half of your wardrobe is just a lot of crap, so don't deny it. But it's at least it's organized. Like I've put it in boxes. I'm very proud of the organization there. Here I've got on this side all my danger field stuff and stuff that I wear regularly. And then I've got t-shirts. I split them up into non-Doctor Who shirts and Doctor Who shirts because I got that many. TARDIS umbrella. Um, underwear and stuff which you don't need to see, tights, and more tights probably. And over this section I've got skirts and jackets, work shirts. Up here I've got my Harley jewellery and boxes of things and 
cups and mugs and glasses that I've been gifted for my 21st and my flute and then here I've just got like all the folded up clothes and the socks and all that so yeah that's the room tour it's so much nicer and cleaner and bigger than my old room and all the white furniture is just very aesthetically pleasing to my eyeballs Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that video. It was a bit rambly, not too sure if you find it interesting. I personally love watching all of these types of videos where they're like organisational videos or room tours. Like that's my, my thing that gets recommended to me all the time in my subscriptions box. So I thought I'd make one. As usual, follow my social media down below my channels and my previous videos and all that stuff which will be around my face. And yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Bye!